attempting to <coughs> strip down this uh, cylinder head now. I've got valves 8 and 7 out and uh, I've got one of the injectors out. So I'll have a bash it the next ones. That's my antique kit I've got here. I'll be around here. Using a block of wood to stop the um, <coughs> stop the clamp from falling down. Gee whiz. Got to get the little collets out so you can release the spring. Can tell you how many years it is since I did this last bit. It's quite a few. to get a couple out with a strong magnet before. What the big worry is is the valve so there we go, we've managed to get one out with the magnet. The big worry is this lets go and you snaps your fingers or something. Which wouldn't be very pleasant. Actually, there's, there's a different setup for the intake and the exhaust. One's more complicated. So let's put number six. That's the cap. Just keeping everything numbered just in case it's to go back. Hard the valve uh, seats seals. Gee whiz. There we have it, one valve. Pretty, I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're quite pitted. You, you can buy an engine rebuild kit that gives you new valves and new stems and everything you need. Just put that, I've got them on a thing down here marked up with the numbers, so I'll just put them in it. That's the easy one to get out, the next one's the hard one to get out because it's got a cap and collets for some reason. Which you've got a set of 
distancing apparently and then the clothes are way in here cylinder's got a broken spring in it so it could be easy to get out. Surprised this engine actually run the amount of things that are wrong with it. As old boys used to say a major will run for 20 years after it isn't that good. Alright. These ones are so difficult. See one, make me mug it. Get it with it. There we go. Handy thing, a very strong magnet. You wouldn't think to use that, would you? That's one of the two. See if I can coax the other one out. For some reason in the last one I took out, uh, this cap was quite tight on the valve and it was hard to get it to come out. But this time it's just popped out. So one valve and one cap. Full of old oil. Let's keep them all together. Those collets are actually broken. I thought the collets were broken, but they're just smaller in this section. That is number five, isn't it? Two, three, four, no, it's four. Eight, seven, six, four. Again, the valve's not looking too bonny. Intend putting the head to a specialist anyway to get it renovated. Just going to strip it down for them. See if we can get the injector out. Let's put this in place. board in it that's got the uh, push rods and the valves numbered where they came from. Just putting this up in blocks so that the tips of the injectors don't get damaged. I discovered if you take an inch spanner and wiggle them they move. Get them moving, once you get them moving they'll pop, seem to pop out already. Yeah. 
and screwdriver. Yeah. <sighs> 